back to my podcast, Discover With Me, where I interview famous scientists. Today we have Nicholas Copernicus with us to give us some information on his life. So, Copernicus, tell us a bit about your childhood. Please, call me Nick. I was born February 19th, 1473, in Torun, Poland, to my father Nicholas Copernicus and my mother Barbara Watson Road. I was the youngest of four children, and might I say the smartest. So, you were named after your father, am I correct? Yes, ma'am, I was. Things got confusing lots of times, but after my father's death in 1483, the confusion was decreased. So, after your father's death, who took care of your family? I mean, there's no way your mother could support your whole family all by herself. No, ma'am, she couldn't. Her brother, my uncle Lucas Watson Road, quickly took us under his protection, providing for us and watching out for us. Well, I'm glad that you have a responsible uncle who took care of you. So, what subjects did you focus on in school? Well, many. Astronomy, mathematics, medicine, and even church law. Church law? Yes, I even became an officer in the Roman Catholic Church. (gasps) Interesting. So, um, okay, where did you receive all of your training for astronomy? Well, I began studying in Poland, but later on received learning in Italy. Italy, how nice. So, tell us, Nick, though I'm sure we all know your accomplishments, what sort of ideas do you think you have come up with? Well, in the 15th century, I discovered the heliocentric way of our solar system. And so, what does a heliocentric solar system mean? It means that the sun is the center of our solar system, and that all the planets orbit around the sun, not Earth. Some people might say your idea is a bit preposterous. What do you say to those people? Well, I say, you all might call me crazy, lunatic, outrageous, or wrong, but someday you will see that I am correct! Um, you really believe in your idea, Mr. Copernicus. Um, didn't you just publish a book about the heliocentric solar system? Of course I do. It's my idea. And yes, I did. Just this year, actually. I encourage every young and old mind to read it and take it under consideration. Why don't you tell us about some of your other astronomical theories? Yeah, yeah, good idea. <clears throat> I'm not here to debate, just to explain and share. <clears throat> well, I also discovered that Earth rotates entirely around once daily. That would explain why the sun rises and sets every morning and evening. Yes, it would. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time on... <laughs> You won't make it. Today, May 24th, 1543, will be the last day he lives. (gasps) Jasper, are you still rolling?